Hi guys, uh, welcome back to part two of the hangar rat build. Yeah, in part one, you saw the uh, construction and in part two, I'm now going to cover the flying surfaces as I showed you at the end of the last video using this very lightweight, very blue actually, um, material, but well, it's not material, it's plastic, plastic bag. So let's get on with it. Cheers guys. Blue, look at that rich blueness. And I'm gonna start by covering, I'm gonna cover both sides of the fin and I'm gonna use this. The bee's knees for this. This is what everyone uses and recommends. It's contact adhesive. It's 19 pounds for one aerosol. This is a 500 mil one. The smaller one is available, but it's not much cheaper. So why would you? So 3M, as we know, quality products. I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna spray both sides. It's blowing a gale outside today. I think I'll just pop it down and see how we get on. Sort of stretch it out a bit. Touch it down. I'm going to wrap it round the front when I do the other side. Sorry, Chris, just cut through your sticker there. And the same with the back, I'll wrap it around when I've done the other side. This weighs nothing and it's an instant finish. This is quick covering. The wings, I thought I'd practice on this. The wing's gonna be the trickiest, but I did that little practice on the scrap, the scraps model. And well, I'll put it down on there, look. Pull that pin out. Oops. Oops. No, 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 no. No, that's all right, it's not that bad. Let's put that down on there and I can now this down a little more firmly to get the rudder to work I'm just going to just slice up the middle and it'll be job done you really stretch it a little bit just to get it a bit tighter it would be better if I wrap it around and then sort of trim up the sides so to do that I'm going to Cut that at 90 degrees to the face. The bottom bit is going to be cut off flush because it has to be glued to the tail plane. That bit, and that bit, I'll cut that at 90 degrees. Cut this at, similarly, uh, 90 or thereabouts. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to cut down here, being careful not to cut through the hinge. That would be a bit of a faux pas. Just feeling it riding over the hinges so there we go and what I'll do I'll just open it up a bit and push it into that because it will have a little bit of tackiness in there well that's my first attempt with 3m it's okay it's fine uh, oh I've got to make a little slot here for the control horn to glue into in a moment I love experimenting with new stuff like this. Well, it's not, it's new to me. There's videos online using it, so I'm not inventing the wheel here. Do you know the man who invented the wheel didn't make a penny? But the man who invented the other three, well, he made a fortune. Da -da. So there we are. I'm happy with that. That's going to look lovely floating by the rudder flapping in the wind. All right, elevator next. Pop that up there to dry. 
and not elevator, I have a tailplane. So I'm only going to cover one surface. Which one is it going to be? I haven't rounded the lead edge or anything. Cut a slot down the middle here for the fin to glue on. So I'll see that carefully. So bearing that in mind, that's a little bit flusher than the bottom, bottom. So I think I'll spray that side and then we'll lay it on. So before, the wing's going to be the fun part. In fact, I'm not even going to film this bit, guys, because it's exactly the same, well, even easier than the fin bit. So I'm just going to do this and I'll be back. We'll do the exciting bit. That is the wings. Okay, welcome back, guys. Less than five minutes have passed. I was just thinking actually I could have done it on a sort of a time lapse or something, but anyway, there it is. Right, I do have to cut that slot out in the middle, which will be fun. I need an eighth, eighth of an inch, uh, we say, or less, less than an eighth really, because I actually, how far forward does it come? It comes, oh, it doesn't go all the way back. Look, lucky I checked. So we only want to go back to, say, about there. Just the way to the blade, really. I don't know if that's gone through it or not. And that has just a narrow slot. Let's make sure that's pressed down. Lovely. So I can stick the fin on there. Before I put the fin on there, though, I'm going to stick the horn on the rudder. And then that stick on there. I think the wrinkling, uh, if I'm right, uh, Joshua Finn said the wrinkling will disappear as it as it dries. So hopefully it will. Okay. Talk of quick. Look at that. I love the colour of that actually. Okay, let's go with the wing. Now we're fully experienced and expert. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? That, you know, the more you do of anything, the more little subtle things you learn. Um, this is the root. I'm only going to do the top surface as it's under cambered. These are bags sold just for uh, line in your kitchen waste bin now so i'm going to go outside i'm going to spray the frame and i'm going to come back in i'm going to lay this over like that put the frame down put the frame down and just lay it over and then sort of stretch it out that wing looks look at that just going to pop out and spray this in back in a jiffy and it's raining outside, but I think I got away with it. Okay, here we go. And down. Lick my fingers to give me, um, give me some traction. I've got a wrinkle here, look, which I don't like. Let's just work on that a minute. It's stick awfully well. It's probably because it's stuck there. Out you come. Let's see, it's all an experiment. Glad I've got a bit of surplus so I can tug on it actually. The wing is stuck firmly down, I've got to say. Don't like that wrinkle there. See if we can pull it out. Well, it's not hyper hyper critical none of this is it is a slow flyer and slow flies are very different to any other sort of flyer let's right, see if we can just lift this off i'm going to use the back of the blade oh yeah that's coming off okay same in the front because you don't know how much sort of working time you've got of contact that's just experience isn't it right um if i turn that over i've got to just trim the corners so i want 90 there 90 there i wonder how much strength this adds to a wing but you know like tissue adds a huge amount of strength 
Got to add something, I guess. Maybe that one's a bit steep. Let's put one in there. Right, let's start on the leading edge. Pull it around. It's tacky. I mean, you can feel it's tacky. Um, there are a couple of outer struts to go on that support the wing. Um, I think the plan sort of shows one on the leading edge. They call it something odd. Um, call it lift a lift strut. Um, so I'll have to just take a little nick of um, covering material off to allow me to stick that on. The reason I've come round the edge of this rib is just because it's only a sixteenth of an inch rib, and I don't want it pulling off through lack of contact area. So I'm just going to trim around just inside here now. Hopefully, not trim the rib up. Uh, got to keep the leading edge. That's quite an important area that has to be glued. So I'm going to come right up there. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to do that all the way along. That rib is sort of pulling in. I don't know if when I stick it, if it'll pull back out or not. I don't know. Okay. Do the uh, other bits. Techniques, Cliff, techniques. I guess in a way I'm rushing this a little bit, but I want to get on with the um, Mercury 4. The trailing edge done. Do the same to the leading edge. I put um, a little picture up on the community tab. Some of you may have seen it. I did make it public viewing uh, of the rat and uh, Carol Carolyn came back. Caroline, Caroline, sorry, came back pretty quick to say. I said, if you can guess what this is, you might guess what the plane is I'm building. Being a hangar rat, and she came back with. A, a pink panther. I said it's not a panther, it's a rat. And she said, okay. So I don't think Carolyn's going to guess what it is. Caroline, sorry. You've got to know, you've got to be a little bit into free flight to know what the hangar rat is. I think Andrew downwind checklist will guess it because he's built one didn't have a huge success with it but um he has built one she's kind of got, gave me the idea so thanks for that andrew all right guys there we are it flies sort of just for a bit of fun let's weigh it shall we I tell you what we do actually. Let's weigh the other wing. They're pretty much identical. Let's see how much weight the coverings put on, and glue, of course. That's three point three grams, and the bare wing weighs two point five nine, two point six. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to cover the other wing. Thought I'd made two wings the same size then. I was. Oh dear, I went all quiet. I'm going to cover the other wing and then we'll glue them together like that. And then mount them on the aeroplane and look at the struts that I have to fabricate. Let me go and do the other wing, guys. I'll come back to you when we're going to glue them up. Cheers.
thanks for watching check out the subscribe button down below if you're not subscribed i don't know why you wouldn't be hit the button while i've gone and also while i've gone just have a look at the join button uh, for helping to uh, fund the channel and support it help it to grow etc welcome back guys so a couple of minutes have passed i've covered the other wing it's better in some places but not so good in others so now we have to try and fix this together it's supposed to be two and a half inches of dihedron under each wing but that's for the small version of this aeroplane um, I'm going to use just white glue I think give me a chance to work it and peg it and go away for half an hour or so in fact what I can do is to glue on the tailplane and a fin and rudder play with that it's going to take a little bit to glue I'm just focusing on gluing the leading edge as well as a trailing edge because they're the bits that have to join mechanically ideally right let's get a couple of pegs I've got a good choice of pegs here so i want they're quite hard aren't they maybe these little homemade pegs for starters and we'll see how we get on Join those just there. I'm trying to get it level front and back because it's going to be. Uh, I want to present. I want to present uh, equal amount of wing to the slipstream. Okay, good. Wing covered. Major stage complete. Uh, wing covered and joined so now I get the fuselage out let me move this somewhere gentle before I do that even I've got to glue the control horn in jumping ahead of myself there here we go and control horn in place now I'm going to stick that on there. Now, how am I going to get that at 90 degrees? I'm going to get that lined up to there. Lined up to there. Quickly get that in there. Perfect. Okay, put that to one side. Now we're back to the fuselage. That's better. All right, let's let that set and we'll come back to it and work on the push rod and get the wings glued on and then look at the struts enjoying it so far guys <laughs> it's a learning curve but it's going to look really sweet when it's done so hang around i think i've times to up one point certainly 1.5 if not 1.6 so yeah cheers Let's take you in again to show you what you've missed um it's just a bit of heat shrink with a piece of two mil carbon rod going down to the tail end Yeah, and then down the tail end, I've got the heat shrink again going over the push rod and the original fitting. I just glued the wings on, which you've missed as well. The back uh, cabane is slightly looser, so I've put a peg on there. The front one's fine. So that's good. Looking at it from a distance, it's looking rather 
rather lovely aeroplane, isn't it? It's quite a big wing area there, you know. Um, I haven't weighed it. Can't weigh it yet. But we'll let that glue dry. And I'll come back in an hour. And we'll see if we can't weigh it. But we also have to then start working out the centre of gravity. See where the battery needs to go. And that's it done. Oh, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Hang around. <laughs> I reckon it's going to fly really slowly, you know. Hopefully it will. A nice, slow, gentle. Open the throttle to climb. Close the throttle to come back down. Wings are dry. CRG is about there, just in front of the cabane strut. About there. And look at that. <laughs> I've got to admit, I'm surprised at that. So the battery can sit just here. Put a bit of Velcro on. And uh, should be good to go. So here it is the Hangar Rat times 1.6. Uh oh, just got to do the wing struts now. But apart from that, that's that's her finish so I'll call it a day there for the video guys and and if, if you tune in for the next video when I go to Winard's Perch we'll see how this little beauty flies I don't think the wind's gonna drop before then to give it a test in any way shape or form uh, the forecast isn't good so if it does then obviously I'll do an outdoor video but failing that I'll save it for Winard's Perch and I'll see you in that video there so looking forward to that hit the little like button if you've enjoyed the video leave us a comment always good especially if you're a new commenter leave us a comment and I'll comment back <laughs> take a look at the join button it starts at one pound per month really helps the channel out helps me out helps me out to do this sort of stuff and um it's very much appreciated okay guys see you soon bye cheers one last thing guys i've just fitted the struts front and back which have really stiffened the wing up now just ca'd in place um do you want to see it working shall we work it okay here we go Connect her up, clip her on, and rudder. Hopefully that will be enough. I could put it on the slightly inside hole. Anyway, here's the rudder. Um, sorry, here's the throttle. Quite, quite a lot of power there. That should be okay, so uh, yeah, there we go. All up weight, 56 grams. That is just a hair under two ounces. That's not bad for a model of 27 inch span, 68 centimeters roughly. Cheers guys.